to do when they come for you. Yes, the third installment of the Will Smith and Martin Lawrence Bad Boys movie franchise. It's in theaters today, but is it worth battling the snow for? Here to tell us about it. From the website, Paul's trip to the movies, a good guy, Paul McGuire Grimes. Hi, Hello. Hi. Hi. Great to be here. Okay, so this one is called Bad Boys for Life. Yeah, so in this one, Martin Lawrence is looking to retire because he's becoming a grandpa, but then they're called back into action again when there's a threat made against Will Smith's character. It's been a while since their last 17 time years since Bad Whoa. Boys 2, and I didn't care for this one, but I actually really enjoyed Bad Boys for Life this third. Outing. Oh, so you didn't like Bad Boys 2, the sequel, but Way the third too long. Much better. Yes, they kind of cut this back down to two hours, which is still a little long, but like the pacing is fine and the comedic banter is really great between Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. So much of this movie is their kind of buddy cop style comedy. Question. Yes. Do you have to see the <laughs> other two? To understand, that's a, good, that's that's a my great big question. question on these and no, okay. I, I saw them back okay. when they first came out. I didn't do a rewatch, and I was just fine understanding this one. The plot is ridiculous, over the top. So who cares whatsoever? Does it have sort of a, uh, a Fast and Furious vibe to it? In yeah, terms I mean, of how serious a, it takes itself. Exactly. There's a lot of car chases, a lot of weaponry. Like it's it's amped up to the extreme. So if you like a lot of action and the comedy, and there's a lot of old people, like they're grandpas. So there's like grandpa jokes. We're too old for this shenanigans. So that's right. kind of the running gag. But it's fun to like movie. escape a little bit and watch If you a movie want like counter that. programming, yeah. this is great for that. So three out of five ticket subs for oh, Bad Boy sure. for Life. You kind of know what you're gonna get yourself right. into with this. Let's talk now about uh, two movies that are both up for Best uh, Picture yes. at the Oscars. Starting with Parasite, a movie that Carly and I are saying. What? I hadn't heard of until it was nominated. This it's movie is incredible. It's about this um, very poor Korean family that lie and manipulate their way into working for this wealthy family. And that is the tip of the iceberg of what, the, what happens in this movie. Um, is, this, is this artsy? Is it a heady movie that critics like you would like, but maybe Joe from Bloomington is like, pass? Well, Sure, but I want oh, Joe, Joe from, from Bloomington. Bloomington. But I want Joe. Joe from Bloomington to test themselves and take a chance on this movie because there's a okay. lot of commentary in this about how we people from different wealth classes react toward each other. Mm. And I'd say expect the unexpected. You will have no idea where this movie is going. Yeah. It's part dark comedy, part home invasion horror. There's suspense. It will keep you <laughs> thinking and guessing until the very ending. And then by the end, you get to the end, and you're like, holy buckets! I had no idea what this movie was. And wow. then it just I'm takes you stressed. by surprise. <laughs> Stress yeah, it's you're like lot. it's four out of five ticket subs for this. I want people to go see it and think about it and see what they're saying. And it's the director of Snowpiercer. So if you saw that movie, which I heard was a great movie with yes. Chris Evans, that not a ton of people talked about, but those who did said it was fabulous. And this I think will win international feature film this year at the Oscars. So six Oscar nominations. Uh, one more in less than six, sixty seconds. Tell us about Ford versus Ferrari. Based on a true story, Ford trying to stay competitive mm. in the car market, so they decide to create a race car and then compete against Ferrari at the. Uh, 66 Le Mans race. I am not a car guy, but I loved this movie. It was so exciting. That's Christian Bale, Matt Damon, Tracy Letts is in this as well. And it's a really actually good wholesome family movie, which you wouldn't Ooh. expect from the trailer, but there's no like horrible swearing or sex. And there's like car chases, of course, to the racing. This is but, like, made for Stevie uh, that's, Yes, yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah, so I, I would really recommend it. And it's kind of traditional storytelling. So if you thought Parasite maybe is too weird, then Ford versus Ferrari is kind of right up your alley. Is that alley like in then. between the bad Boys and the parasites. I would say so like, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay. there's racing with like you know artistry. Right. Not saying bad boys is an art, but like their style and there's the special effects are great in Ford versus I missed Ferrari. That. How many ticket stubs did you Four get? Four to five for Four that. Five. Well. And okay. Christian right. Bale should just get uh, you the number five. Just this. get like, you number so, five with Christian Bale. And there's a cool. I, I mean seriously. <laughs> uses his British accent, which you don't often hear in British. Oh, great British accent. Good father son storyline in this as well. Visit Paul's website to the movies.com. He's got more movie reviews there. You can also listen to Paul on the Colleen and Bradley show on My Talk 1071 every Friday. You can also watch him on his YouTube channel. Also call it Paul's Trip to the Movies. My co-host Carly Zucker.